This segment brought to you by SureCrop. Liquid crop nutrition delivered right to your farm. My name is Grant Morgan. I'm with Pokey Feeders in Scott City, Kansas. We are currently a 75,000 head commercial feed yard. 95% um, of the cattle here would be owned by somebody else. Most of the cattle here would come from about 17 to 22, 23 different states. Um, and today I'm here to talk to you about our water recycling system that we've been putting in on a four-year plan. We started in 2014. Basically what we're trying to capture is all of our overflow water. Uh, most feed yards in our state predominantly are continuous flow water tanks, specifically in our area. So continuous flow water tank, what that means when the temperature in the water gets to a certain temperature, basically freezing level, our tanks run a pickock valve that'll turn on and automatically allow water to continually flow in, not off of our float, how they're typically adjusted. So in the winter time, our water, um, when it gets to freezing level, our tanks will continually flow and will allow the water not to freeze. And so that water um, eventually ends up in our lagoons, which we capture that water and eventually pump it onto pivots, um, irrigation pivots and grow growing crops. Typically we grow cane silage some triticale that we graze and chop in the fall and spring as well. Um, we currently have approximately about 600 pins and about 550 water tanks. Uh, most of our tanks are 75, 80 gallon water tanks and have a three inch standpipe in the center of those tanks that allow the water, if the tank is overflowing, to flow through that drain pipe and through our drain line that eventually makes it into our lagoon or when we're washing water tanks once a week that standpipe can be pulled out and the tanks can be cleaned. So typically, you know, on a given day, we'll have several tank plugs, is what we refer to them as, that are missing or pulled out of the tank by cattle being curious animals. So what I'll show you right now is this is what we call our south section of the feed yard. And our south section is based on 20,000 head. It's the third system we put in. It was actually just completed in about two weeks ago. Um, so basically all of our feed alleys run north and south. So our water lines and our drain lines go north and south as well. Both of them are about mm, two feet apart going through our pin. And so the water line goes into the tank, the drain line comes out of the tank. So all of our drain lines here drain all to the south side of this section of the yard and basically go into this ditch which in turn funnels into this lagoon here. And so with our water recycling system, what we do is we draw or we lay an eight inch line surveyed out so all of the water will naturally flow back to this point right here. It's an eight inch line that looks like a horseshoe that goes around this section of the yard and comes back to right here so it captures all of our drain water. I'll take you over to the system itself now. So where we're at right now is what we call our collection tank. Our collection tank is actually 17 feet deep and about eight foot by eight foot. And so basically there's two pumps inside of this tank itself. Um, there's a pump that'll send the, send the water into our recycling building where the water is actually recycled. And then there's a trash pump. So when we want to clean this tank, we have valves that are set to, to put fresh water in the tank so we can clean it uh, when we see fit. But basically the water comes into here and as you can probably hear, there's water running today because there's probably a tank running over. The water will come into this pit. There's a sensor in this pit that when the water gets to a certain level, um, our system will kick on. There's also a freeboard level in here if the power goes out and the trash pump doesn't kick on, uh, water will automatically go back in the, into the lagoon. So it goes in this pit, it'll fill up to a certain level, the system will kick on and it'll start the recycling process. No matter where, no matter why, the Veterinary Health Center at Kansas State University is committed to providing quality patient care to animals and exceptional customer service to their owners. From routine checkups to emergency and specialty care, our world-renowned specialists and experienced professionals are here to discover, to teach, and to heal. Let us know. How can I help? How can we help? <laughs>